Hello and welcome back to Tricore Gaming with me, Fletcher. A few weeks ago, I made a video looking at where a future Jurassic World Evolution 3 should improve in terms of its gameplay. If you haven't seen that video, there'll be a link in the corner. Today, we're going to tackle the lagoons, and please note, we are only going to talk about the lagoons as buildings. We'll tackle the animals in another video. Number one, different lagoon shapes. I do not mind the current system where we have the circular shaped modules that we connect together. I think it ensures smooth sailing. However, I do think that any Jurassic World Evolution 3 needs to offer us more variation in terms of the shapes of our lagoons. Circles are all right, but it would be nice to have the ability to create more interesting shapes of lagoons with triangles or perhaps square shapes. The ability to combine pieces and shapes together would allow us to create more interesting layouts and even squeeze lagoons into areas where a huge circle might not have fitted. And attached to differing shapes of lagoon, it would be nice to have different sizes so that if we want a huge sort of circle, we can achieve that. Number two, texture and foliage brushes. So everybody has been begging for this. One of the biggest advantages that the aviaries have is that all of our texture modification brushes and all of our foliage brushes can be used to design it. The lagoons do not have this luxury. This is partly why we were so excited just to get a few kelp planters. Any possible Jurassic World Evolution 3 should add some simple modification ability to the lagoons. I would suggest a set of specific lagoon texture brushes and foliage brushes. I would suggest three key textures, fine sand, gravel or shale and rock. In terms of foliage brushes, I would suggest that we have three options as well. A kelp brush that would be the equivalent to forests, a coral brush which creates random decorative corals similar to those bushy flower brushes we have, and a sea grass brush that creates large meadows of longer grass. This would have a huge impact on our ability to design the lagoons overall. Number three, more basic options. The biggest issue with the lagoons as they are in Jurassic World Evolution 2 is that all of the lagoons were basically the same concrete eyesores. Even with the decorations we have, it's hard to make the lagoons feel different to each other and to feel unique for each of our animals. My suggestion would be to add some toggleable options similar to the amenities which we can use for some very basic options. I would suggest four different things. We should be able to modify the depth of the lagoons which would allow allow us to create the sort of shallow seas that suits animals like nothosaurs or create deep water that would suit larger plesiosaurs. I think three depth options, a standard depth, a deep depth and a shallow one. Secondly, we should have some options for changing the concrete around the edges. This could be something as simple as picking a colour for it, but alternatively we could have the same sort of concrete and panel options as the amenities. Thirdly, I would suggest the ability to alter the water itself with four different options. A standard water option, a more green shaded water to mimic kelp or mangrove waters, a deeper darker blue for more open sea, and a very clear water for something more Mediterranean. Finally, I would provide some toggleable options for the lagoon's floor, where we can have some different shapes such as a crater, a sea mount, or a simple flat floor, etc. All this would greatly help us create more unique lagoons. Number four, a greater range of feeders. Related to a desire to expand the creature's diets, the lagoons should offer more than sharks that animals have to leap for and fish from the walls. I suggest a number of new dietary options, placeable crustacean feeders which we place on the seabed, and jellyfish creating wall feeders would make some sense for animals like Archelon and Nothosaurs. The placeable foliage like the kelp or sea grass should also be eatable and this would allow us to have purely vegetable vegetarian sea creatures in the lagoons. Other options include krill wall feeders, which would let us have filter feeding animals, or live shark feeders, which give an alternative to having our shark eating animals always having to jump out the water. One final 
feeder idea that I think would be a nice little enrichment feature for our marine life is a feeder variety we place on the floor of the lagoons which provides access to gastrolith stones which help sea creatures grind up their food and also act as ballast. Number 5. A greater range of decorations. One of the most important free updates for Jurassic World Evolution 2 was the one that added a bunch of lagoon decorations for us to use. It was a vital update for the game. However, I have always felt that there were lots more that we could have had. Any Jurassic World Evolution 3 should offer us not just a range of coral rocks, boulders and basic external flags and trees, but expand upon them. One absolute must is a need for much larger decoration types, such as large rocky mounts, coral walls and wreckage. These sorts of very large decorations would make maps with natural lagoons easier to use. More interesting decoration ideas would help too, such as rock arches, caves, sunken boats, whale skeletons and more. I would also love to see a greater range of external decorations. Flags and trees are all right, but what about placeable waterfalls or perimeter windows? Placeable rock sections for some more natural options would be nice. And some decoration that we can place on the surface of the water wherever we like, such as floating boats, icebergs, islands and such, would be a great thing to have. I don't think any of these ideas would be difficult to implement or asking too much. You could probably find some simple blender models for all of these ideas. Frontier just needs some imagination. So that was 5 quick ideas for things Jurassic World Evolution 3 could do to improve the lagoons. Let me know down in the comments which of these you agree with and what other things you think Jurassic World Evolution 3 can do with its lagoons specifically. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content from all of us at Tricore Gaming. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.